Hi guys, welcome back. It's UK here. Uh, I'm back again. Uh, basically, I haven't been about the last couple of months because there's been some real life issues I've had to deal with, um, which have basically meant doing videos and responses and so forth have been pretty fairly low priority. Uh, but things are on the up again now, so I am back. And uh, fingers crossed, should be jumping into the swing of things. Uh, so with that in mind, I'll jump into what's happened over the last couple of months, uh, for those interested. Um, on a roleplay front, uh, with my Sunday night game of Pathfinder, uh, all but one of the characters has died. Uh, it's a little unfortunate, uh, but you know, it happens. So uh, they've pretty much picked up a, a new party with one of the original or semi-original members. Uh, and they're pretty much carrying on where they left off. Um, I'm looking at beginning to start wrapping this campaign up though, to be honest, um, because uh, how I first envisioned doing it, which was basically you, it's, it's kind of a little bit lazy of me really, but originally I had planned to basically rip the guts out of a load of original and basic edition modules. Uh, use the maps, rewrite the scenarios, update things, uh, and use them for what I wanted. Um, unfortunately, due to, well, I'm not entirely sure what happened, but uh, pretty much that kind of fell by the wayside, and I uh, pretty much had to run a couple of published modules, one of which was planned anyway. Um, and with the death of the characters, I kind of began to feel my... Uh, desire for this particular campaign to, is, is flagging uh, a little bit. Uh, so the, the characters have just hit 7th level and I want to start wrapping up around about 9th, 10th. Um, but, you know, I have plans for another one, uh, something a bit more uh, possibly to my liking. Uh, I've been working on a campaign setting. Originally it was going to be a world setting uh, and it was going to be called Therian. Uh, but Therian has since turned into a, into a city and it's going to be kind of like Therian City of Adventure. So rather than do a whole continent, which is what I'm normally used to doing, so I've got an arctic bit, a desert bit, jungles, swamps, cities, blah blah blah, the usual works. This time I'm focusing on a city which is out kind of on the western borders of the Byzantine Empire, um, which was uh, partly named <laughs> for uh, one of our members of the YouTube RPG Brigade as I was trying to fathom out a name for the Empire and uh, Devon's name popped up <laughs> on my own screen I went, ah, that's not a bad name to, for the use of the Empire so um, it's not quite his surname but it's close enough uh, and I basically do it, I've picked out uh, a map a hex map of the surrounding area and so pretty much everything will be centred around that and it will be a, a lot more well I'm hoping it will be a bit more open-ended to character so while I will have scenarios to do the characters uh, will be able to do what they want to do as well and I'll try and write that in and uh, what have you um, and I, I'm basically opening up sort of what they do has a bigger import they can try and take over areas or do what to basically do whatever they want with it um, so that should be fun um, the other Sunday night games have kind of been alternating uh, because one of the players has taken, he's got two two games running, uh, one where we were all dwarves, but those characters are all dead. But mine, the managed to escape and he's decided to give up adventuring entirely. Uh, so we've got new characters to continue that sort of plot line along and he's running a second game. Both of which are really good, really enjoying them. Um, the Rise of the Rue Lords Pathfinder game on Friday nights was going really, really well. Um, it's gone a bit peak Tom now though. Uh, we had, on the last session, Friday just gone, one of the players couldn't make it due to a family uh, birthday, but we still decided to, to play and pick up an NPC hiring to help us. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, we got to the big bad at the end of this particular chapter and it wiped the floor with us, completely and utterly. It was far too powerful for the levels that we were, uh, which we did kind of grumble about a little. Uh, but the GM is a little bit stubborn on these things and he wants to have a really challenging game, he wants to play the mechanics as the mechanics are rather than tone things down, which I thought was a little bit of an arse. In fact, my nephew was so pissed off with it that he's actually quit the group uh, and won't be coming back. Um, 
but I think that was on the cards for a while. And, you know, I don't like mechanical play. I think the system needs you need to be able to make decisions, and if you need to tone things down, you tone things down. But you know, we'll see how this goes because we've already lost. Well, he's the second player we've had walk out of the group because of the GM. Um, you know, I like the guy, uh, but he's far too mechanically minded, and I'm there to tell the story and. <sighs> You know, I, I'd rather it was toned down a little bit because we're more role players rather than optimizers. But we'll see. Uh, my Call of Cthulhu game is back on. Uh, they've just started Masks of Nyarlathotep. Um, unfortunately, they're being a little too rash in this, and they've leapt from the New York chapter to the London chapter without doing enough investigation, without looking into things. So they've probably missed uh, a few bits and bobs. Uh, but we shall see. Um, the big campaign that I'm running for, I've actually decided to chop back a little bit. There are a number of scenarios I really kind of looked at. Went, if I had a weekly game session of this, I might well be up for it. But now I've begun to want to try and uh, speed it up a little bit. It'll still probably take us a good while, but there you go. Um, other than that, roleplay wise, the Dark Heresy game looks like it might be back on. We had a session last night where we wrapped up the scenario that we started back in about October had one session of in December <laughs> we finally wrapped that one up last night um, I'm kind of hoping that gets back on track um, and we can uh, play a bit more of it so uh, that's the roleplay stuff, the 40k stuff is a little bit awkward as well at the moment I didn't really need some of this during uh, recent events but the club has been on hold uh, as the venue was having uh, refurbishment uh, and we were originally told one thing that the club was going to get we were going to get our own room off to one side for the wargaming and the magic players would still get the use of part of the restaurant because there was going to be a coffee bar sort of area uh, in the end we've all been shunted off into a side room and I think it's pretty much because you know, with no fault to the staff and what have you uh, the place has become a little bit more upmarket than it was it was a traditional pub uh, now it's a bit more wine bar -y. and I think the last thing they want in that is actually people out in the open playing games and things uh, so it's a little awkward, we're a table down and it's very cramped but it is ours and we can keep the stuff there, we've got to keep traps in a van back and forth uh, with the terrain and the tables uh, but we're having troubles with that because we've got a 16 player league which means there's 15 rounds and we can't it'll take us a year to play which means I think people will get fed up and they'll stop playing so we're trying to find a way to fit tables and so forth in. Um, other than that the shop on a Sunday is still far too magic centric I'm actually uh, I'm actually thinking of not bothering going down on a Sunday anymore because of it um, there just isn't the room for people to play something other than magic and magic is definitely dull for me these days I mean I've picked up a couple of decks that have come out recently just so that I have got something to play as and when it happens but I want I really want the Sunday Club to be more about a multitude of games rather than focusing on the one that makes the shop money because you know you can see it from their point of view but from a gamer's point of view <sighs> let's have a bit more variety but we'll see um, so that's where I'm up to at the moment um, and fingers crossed I'll be back on doing some vids over the next few days um, I want to do some more Pathfinder 40k ones because we've, we've had a couple of codices come out since uh, I stopped doing vids properly uh, and I also want to get back on and doing the Doctor Who review vids uh, with that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it because um, I'm tempted to turn it more into a text blog rather than a series of videos but We'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully you haven't gone away and left me while I've been gone, and uh, we'll talk soon. Take care, and good gaming.